Yikes. You're getting your ass handed to you. Uh, back off before you lose everything. Oof, that, that came close. No, dude, don't go that way. Election. Okay, so we're at 92 Republican tradition, so I think we can probably elect somebody else one more time. And I think I want to continue the bureaucrats. How are we doing for faction strength? We are currently on no Aristos, so let's go and bump them up a little bit. Just so they don't get miffed. And Jeremias is an entrepreneur. He's only 47. Okay, reasonable. And we do have enough for another idea, which would be another merchant. So we could finally send somebody to Coromandel. Wow, I am super innovative. Impressive. Oh man, another 25% trade steering right there. Well, I think because we're only five years away, I think I'm going to hold out until we can get the Diplo because losing that 20% uh, ahead of time trade efficiency bonus would be really bad. Olaf's going to have problems soon. That would be here. You know what? I think you need a big freaking fort as well. As do you. Because we are definitely going to have some rebel problems, and right now I do not have the capacity to deal with an uprising here. So I think what we're going to do is harsh treatment, the Jolof uprising. Just so they can't rise. Portugal is blockading me now, but I'm not rivals with Portugal. Uh, that's a lot of ships not currently doing anything. <laughs> that's an awful lot of ships not doing anything. Interesting. Trading in glass, Diplotech cost reduction. That's nice. Yeah, 150 light ships. Oh no, with 11 heavies. So let's split out the heavies. You've also got some lights, which we'll send up to there. Actually, we'll upgrade you first. And you've got some transports, which I think I might just expand. All right, so where in my trade route or trade network am I struggling, if anywhere? Novgorod could potentially do with a bit more. Baltic's fine. English Channel could actually potentially do with a bit more. Um, we could definitely do more in the Americas. Ooh, especially here. Yeah. Alright, so let's split you into sets of 35. So if you go protect trade in Chesapeake. Don't think I have a fleet in Chesapeake already. No, I do not. Then we have another set. Which almost certainly wants to go to the Caribbean, because there is a lot of money being lost in the Caribbean. So I think that's what your job's going to be. And then we have you lot who are not. 
Wait, was that the two fleets? Do I have more than that? You have these guys, but I'm going to send those to the English Channel just because it's nearby. Ah. This lot. Split you in half. There we go. So you are going to protect trade probably in Mexico. And then I am thinking you lot are probably going to be in Africa somewhere. Oh, pff, Ivory Coast, 100%. Well, somebody is seriously competing down there. We already have a fleet in the Ivory Coast. This will just add more to it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going after England. England still doing some colonial stuff. They can have the rest of Ireland. I'm not really bothered. And I was kind of hoping that Scotland would do a bit more because Scotland's actually got some really impressive co colonies going. Um, but England's still trying to colonize, though they are late to the game. And then France, Spain, and Portugal would be the big ones. And also Brittany, interestingly. Oh, and Friesland has a few outposts here and there. But I have no intention of conquering the rest of England. I have no interest in it. This is more about make silly amounts of money than paint the map. Um, right, what else am I doing? Trade steering. Which I'm guessing is Novgorod. Is a lot of money passing through Novgorod, though. Mm-hmm. Am I controlling any of it? No. So, Novgorod would be a pointless one for me to do the trade steering in. So we're going to go with the trade value, because that one is modified. And that's all of those done. And all of those. You know what? Defensiveness up here would be super, super useful. In case we ever get attacked in this area. We we'll leave France alone. We didn't do anything to the Hansa. I don't think I've been at war with... In fact, am I allied to France? Yeah, we're allied to France. And I think we've been allied for quite a long time, too. Scotland? Rebels? There we go. Local traders demand aid. Merchants and captains of the trade vassals in Lancashire have sent a representative. Absolutely. Send them everything. Send them everything they don't need. Send them, send them everything. Absolutely everything. All right, we want to continue converting Catholics away. Right, did the colonists arrive down here yet? No, soon. Mary Reed, the pirate sloop Revenge with Calico Jack Rackham, a captain held a ram party when the pirate hunter Captain Jonathan Barnett disabled the ship with volley fire. With a volley of fire. The crew fled or were too drunk to fight, leaving Mary Reed and Anne Bonny to fend off against Barnett's troops. They were overcome and Rackham surrendered. They were all arrested and sentenced to hang for acts of piracy. The two women pleaded the belly, which granted them a temporary mercy until their children were born. Mary Reed told us of her life before she joined Rackham and Bonny, born an illegitimate child, uh, to the widow of a sea captain. Her mother disguised her as a boy and called a Mark to receive money from her dead brother's grandmother. When she became a teenager, she, found, she first found work as a footboy and then took on employment on a ship. Still dressed as a man, she joined the British military and proved herself through battle. After falling in love with a Flemish soldier, they bought an inn with their military commission and gifts from the friends in the army, who, still, who until her marriage had not realised that Mark was actually Mary. Her husband died young and Reed once again donned male dress and took employment as a soldier. But there were no wars, no battles to fight and no room for advancement. She quit the army, boarded a ship and was taken by pirates and Reed was forced to join them. After having taken the king's pardon and a commission to a privateer, she joined the crew in a mutiny and returned to piracy. She then met the captain, Jack Calico Jack Rackham, and his companion, Anne Bonny. Too bad she'll be hanged when a child is born or pardon her. She can become an admiral. 
5230. Sold. Uh, what was her maneuver? Three. Oh wow, she is very good. Uh, I think that our battle fleet has found a new admiral. And then the other one can go to the English Channel with your two maneuver. And there we go. And we're going to deselect you, merge you, and we now have a fleet of 33 heavy ships. Imperialism against Kiev. Right, whatever happened to my transports? Oh, we did have two Caribbean fleets. Trading in Coco. Manpower recovery plus 5%. And Guane has uh, had an uprising. That's over here. Okay, we can deal with that. So, you lot are in the Caribbean. You protect trade in the Caribbean. 97 ships. Crikey. Jump on the boat. Go over here. These conversions are going to take a long time. And they just reconverted one of the provinces that I just converted. Son of a... Ah! Alright. If my eyes do not deceive me, then Cuba is in fact an island. And as such... Well, it's going to be a colonial island is the thing, so I don't need to worry about it that much. Oh, this is really annoying that you got converted. S sod. That's like two years of conversion just lost there. Oh, yeah, and there's a thing over here too. You need to stop. You need to be recalled and then sent to there. You need to march up here. Preferably quickly. Come on, before it falls. Naval research wrong. It seems as if a leading shipwright in our country has written a very convincing document detailing how new ship technology that his rival has been trying to get funding for will never work. I'll take the Diplo hit. I quite like having high prestige. Defeated. Split you in half. In fact, Mankia will deal with that one so you can go to Batua. Marvellous. In fact, you can be based here and then go on to Autonomous Rebel... Suppression, once again, for the entirety of Africa, except, and you're fine. Where's the next rebel uprising going to be? None in the immediate future. No, oh, Hamburg doesn't have a stock exchange. Well, that's a mistake. And in fact, everything in England should have one for the English Channel. Meanwhile, how's the war against Estonia going? Oh man, I thought for a minute that was Estonia. I was like, what? I didn't realize that Estonia was allied to Novgorod. Poor Novgorod. You were doing so well. You still might, depending on whether Poland actually wants anything from you. Tyrconnell has left the trade league. What? Oh, because he grew. Okay, fair enough.
And we have a random two-decker, which is going to join the main fleet. Okay, so our ships are once again tidied up. And how has that affected my trade income? It hasn't actually affected it massively, which is a little surprising. Go as star fort is done, so most of the other star forts and things should be completing. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm going to see if this was actually true about the colonial nation religion. It might just be that it goes to the religion of your nation. Are Poland and Lithuania still in the PU? Why hasn't the Commonwealth formed? Don't think they are. I'll check in a minute. I'm not sure. My papacy run a nickname Mary the death of the Spanish Armada. I think that gives you a clue. Nice. Alright, it's Poland, Lithuania in a because, yeah, I think I am correct in that the majority of their religion needs to be the one that you're trying to convert to. Uh, Poland, you have got Lithuania as a junior partner. So I don't know why the Commonwealth hasn't formed, because it feels like it probably should have. Seeing as we are in 23 admin, they require 10. So, yeah, don't know. Do not know. Oh. oh no, they're passing through. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. And then the other thing I should do is make sure that my armies, where they are capable of doing so... Oh, you can't get home. Okay, I really need a transport. Oh, unfortunately, my transports are kind of important at the moment. You're probably less so. Let's send you over here to Caen to go and pick those guys up. Growth of the business of draperies. Lincolnshire grows. That's good. Profiteering in Hull. Citizens of Hull have grown tired of the local influence of greedy Li Liaison merchants. And they claim you're using unfair advantages to outcompete local business. So... Hull needs trade power. It's in the English trade node. Star Fort and Bellatung's complete, that's good. Stock exchanges are completing, that's good. And there it is, war is over. 
For the next station was demanded, Novgorod will cede 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 provinces to Poland. Poland owes me a favour. <laughs> For what? I did nothing. And unfortunately, Novgorod grows ever smaller. But they're still bigger than Muscovy. It seems that the trading between our colonists in Kowande and Bemba has led to an outbreak of diseases, usually foreign to South Africa. Um, give them everything they need and more. <laughs> Speak of the devil, and he shall arrive. Huh. <laughs> Somebody's cheeks were glowing red. <laughs> okay, revolt in Sotu Sotua. We can deal with that. And repay the loan before I forget to do that again. Also, build stuff. In fact, what we could do with is upgrading any forts which are not proper level yet. Wait, requires tech for 20... Oh, it's the next tech level. Can't actually build them yet. So why are you showing as available? Because clearly you're not. And manufactory soldiers. We don't have any more of those. Pressment houses. None of those. Ramparts. Probably not. So I think everything else is just going to be manufactories. And in fact, there are a couple of you which would be valuable. So anything which is up to 0.1... We will build. Some more cores done. The army arrived. Bye bye, separatists. Stock exchanges built in many places, which is going to increase the amount of money we're making. We're going to do some more rebel suppression. Can I tell you to do it here? No, that's too bad. Except. Overextension, meanwhile, is down to 50%. So we could theoretically get some more territory, but I really need the colonial nations to be established first. When's the next idea group? 26. I'm really tempted to go for religious. Actually, uh... Can I get a... No. Damn. Missionary strength. That's what I need. Shipbuilding boom. Our shipbuilding industry has experienced a boom in the orders for merchant ships. This boom has ended, and there is now a surplus uh, yard capacity. This will not last long, but our navy could profit from it. I also wanted to know how the conversion here is coming. So Havana has been converted. Is it always 35? How oh, bloody hell it is. the two places that we cored here are the ones that aren't converted. Uh, lumber is now producing livestock. Okay. And Bornemannen died. Speaking of which, we should probably pick up another general, and in fact we should start drilling again. Oh, right. We were waiting for transports to arrive so I could actually send these guys home so that they could start drilling. I remember what the problem was. Boundary dispute. The province of Skaraborg has disputed region between us and Sweden. Protect our faith, obviously. Sweden. Thinking they're a threat. <laughs> oh dear. 
Sweden's not OP. Alright, so we are going to, first of all, pull you guys back so you're behind my line of forts. And there we go, star forts being finished. Secondly, I am going to go ahead and recruit another general. And this is going to be... I totally forgot to do the names last time, sorry about that. Casey Cap. You're going to start drilling. You're going to start drilling. So that's two of you. Then that leaves you down here who is on rebel suppression. Well, at least we have two of them drilling. Does one of the subjects have tech for a level 8 forts? Oh, they might do. Because it is just next level. I just don't have the uh, mill tech yet for it. Bifada. Uh, trade efficiency, 50% off. I mean, we already have one of those. Speaking of which, can we get any people here that we want? No. Keep searching. And you are the nearest. Nope, we need the transport ships back again. And we could build some more manufactories, which I like the idea of. I'm actually tempted to just build all of them. Friesland ended hostilities between court and country. Moravis having internal conflicts. Bengals having court and country. Maratha, that's Goa. Um, rather you didn't right now, I'll be honest. Native uprising in Conde, but we've got loads of soldiers there now, so that is less of a problem. We're going to drop... Oh, they left. Huh. Well, in that case, you can stay where you are. I'm going to continue on rebel suppression because you do reduce the chance of rebels rising up. From where you are now. Our colony has been struck by Roman fever. Oh dear. That means a prevalence for Ban Byzantine thoughts, doesn't it? No! Our people have fallen to the idea of uh, liking Byzantium. Illness has struck our colony in Lambda. We are going to send somebody to organize a response. Algoa Bay has been converted. Good. So now we're going to convert Gorano. Gorane, rather. And that's going to be one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, neither of those are cord. 